so now we are going to draw the grid for the mandala so for every mandala design be it your full circle semi circle corner or basically any sort of mandala you have to draw a basic grid which works as a foundation for your mandala design so here i am taking an a4 size sheet and the length of a4 size sheet is around 30 cm and the breadth that is the width is around 21 cm so divide the length that is 30 cm by 2 you will get 15 cm so vertically mark a point at 15 cm then do the same thing for a horizontal line so it is 21 cm now divide it by 2 you will get something around 10.5 cm mark a point at 10.5 cm now using these two points draw a horizontal and vertical line which will Will be intersecting to each other now in this way you will be able to find the midpoint of the paper which will be the source of the mandala art as we discussed earlier mandala always uh, emanates from a center point which is called the source now there is another way to find the midpoint is by joining the diagonal so you can just join the upper left corner to the bottom right corner and the same process with the other two directions so uh, drawing two intersecting diagonal lines uh, you will be able to easily find the midpoint so these are the two ways of finding the midpoint now you just take your compass and draw concentric circles now what are concentric circles concentric circles are circles made using the same midpoint so we are just going to draw circles using the same midpoint but we are just going to increase the length every time we are drawing a mandala so there is no specific guideline of that you have to draw uh, all the circles uh, of a specific uh, you know radius but here i am taking the distance of one centimeter so that we are able to learn the you know grid making in a better way so here i am uh, you know measuring the compass uh, you know measuring the radius every time and increasing it one centimeter every time and drawing a few layers now you can add as many number of layers you want and you can also increase or decrease the radius every time one centimeter is the standard one so stick with it now we are drawing a few concentric circles now take your own time in drawing these concentric circles and for the last circle i am taking something around a 2 cm uh, gap between uh, you know the earlier circle and this one because you know we can just draw bigger petals so the uh, circles diameter actually depends upon you now uh, you can also you know use the specific guidelines like one centimeter or two centimeter or you can just you know open up your compass and draw circles without any measurement i usually don't use any measurement but since uh, this course is specially designed for beginners so i'm making sure that everything has length and breadth and width mentioned so that you don't have any you know issues with drawing the grid now once you are done with the concentric circles take your protractor you can take the 180 degrees or 360 degrees and now place the protractor on the midpoint so as you can see the protractor has a plus sign and a you know a midpoint so place that midpoint on your mandala art midpoint and make sure that it stays there it doesn't move much and then mark points at every 10 degrees using a pencil so why 10 degrees it's not specific you can also use 15 20 degrees or even more or less but 10 degrees is the standard one and this basically divides your whole, whole circle into equal parts so for example uh, your uh, full circle is of 360 degrees and if we mark points at every 10 degrees we are, we are dividing the full circle into uh, 36 equal parts now if you draw uh, points at every 20 degrees you will be able to divide the full circle into 18 uh, equal parts how 360 degrees divided by 20 degrees so whatever uh, dimension you choose make sure to follow that uh, throughout the mandala so that your mandala uh, circle is divided into equal parts now as you can see we have you know joined uh, all the uh, marked all the points at every 10 degrees
now once you have marked all the points uh, now take your ruler and pencil and now we have to draw lines because marking the points is not enough for uh, you know uh, dividing the circle we have to draw circles uh, sorry we have to draw lines so for that take your ruler and start drawing lines lines across the uh, points that you have marked now for that you have to make sure that all your lines go through the midpoint in a straight fashion so as you can see that for example the 90 degrees line is aligned with the 180 degrees so the 80 degrees will be aligned to the uh, you know to the opposite one which would be uh, 170 degrees so in this way you will be able to you know draw your uh, you know lines carefully so take your time this is a very important part of drawing the mandala grid because this can either break or make your mandala design because if all the lines are not uh, parallelly you know uh, going through the midpoint then your grid will not be symmetrical and when uh, when you will be uh, trying to draw uh, when you uh, when you, you will be trying to draw the you know mandala patterns it won't be symmetrical at all so just take your time and now i'll stop talking and allow you to follow the process along with me